Well, to discuss uh, the murder trial of Lesotho's former Prime Minister, Tom Tobane, we're now joined by our correspondent, uh, Rabelang Khadebe. Rabelang, thanks very much indeed for joining us. So, so take us through what happened at court today. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think today I came to my realization that law is not as straightforward as I anticipated. Mm. Um, Former Prime Minister Tabane was summoned to court, uh, but he was taken to the private chambers where I believe the, um, not the magistrate, but uh, the clerk of court read out the charges to him uh, and immediately demanded that he provides his personal details like where he stays and other key information. Uh, he was joined with his wife, uh, and then immediately afterwards was told that this is the end of the proceedings, uh, and they will be coming to court for a formal trial, which will be starting and set for three days on the 8th of March to the 11th of March. Now, one would assume that somebody who is suspected uh, as a co-accused, will be charged or will be arrested, uh, taken to court, plead for bail, and, and then a trial is set. Uh, but none of that happened today. So actually, we're still a little bit confused as to whether is he out on bail, what are the bail conditions, uh, because this is the process that transpired when his wife uh, was arrested, charged by police, sent to the magistrate court and immediately requested for bail. Today was slightly different. It was just like being someone to the prime, prime, prime to the, from the office master, you know? Yeah. Have the authorities explained any of this? It, it was quite a, a quick affair whereby a lot of the procedures was rather hard to follow and not very complicated. It was then afterwards we, we really thought we, maybe we can now actually go and try and understand how things are. But talking to one of the legal colleagues, I think I said to him, he, well, he said to me, uh, it, it does happen that it, to some extent that the public prosecutor has got some discretions of which he can use his powers to allow a suspect maybe not to go through the magistrate court, but straight to the high court under conditions or under discretions that they may have. Whether this was a case, it still looked a little startling uh, as to whether does he have a different set of rules that apply to him. But as I say, we will probably now talk to the legal aspects, experts to try and decode what actually transpired. So he heard the charge today. He wasn't asked to plea or, at all, or was he? Not at all. His wife has already been charged, if you can remember. Yeah. And he, she was released on bail under circumstances that he was going to take care of him because he was at a very severe point of illness. But today they were both uh, read. Well, the wife had already been charged, but now he is a co-accused and was read the charges of which he was told that the actual trial will now be resuming next year but he did not plead or anything. Now, he was supposed to be in court on Friday. What happened? Um, what we understood was that actually the summons were the ones that were released on that particular Friday. It was just an alert that says he is due to appear before court today. And today it is only then that I think with the lawyer present, the, the charges can be read to him. You say that the trial has been set down for three days for a whole murder trial. It, that, that is what keeps startling us as to whether is it because they have so much evidence or exactly what is this procedure? Because those dates were emphasized definitely that uh, there are still others who are to be joined into this murder trial, but the trial itself will resume on the 8th to the 11th uh, of March next year. So we, we, we thought, well, that, that would probably be the quickest case, unless once again, it is that particular aspect of the law that 
is so baffling that nobody yeah. seems to understand at this point. What has been the link that's been made uh, with the former uh, Prime Minister and his wife's murder? He, he was charged basically on three counts of murder, attempted murder, and malicious damage to property. But the wife's charges, if you, remind, if you remember, were slightly more detailed, including conspiracy for murder, attempted murder and murder. Uh, there was much more counts when it comes to the wife. But for him, it was just those three counts that said they are joining as a co-accused to already accused wife. But the speculation, was he there on the day standing next to the person who pulled the gun? What, 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 what is alleged? Um, these are tiny bits of information that we got when there was a case with uh, police investigator Paseka Mukete, who was investigating the cases. When we read the affidavit, we got to understand some of the finer details that happened, including uh, it is alleged that he was in one of the SUVs that was spotted in the scene not too long within the proximity of the uh, murder suspect's area. Uh, so it is also linked that he made a telephone call uh, triangulated from that particular area where the, the actual scene took place. Uh, so these are bits and pieces as to whether was he there maybe to confirm the location or was it a coincidence that he happened to be in that particular place but it is one of the links that said one of the suspicions is that his cell phone or at least a cell phone that belongs to him or registered to him made a call on that particular day round about almost around the same time as to the happenings of that particular unfortunate day the former Prime Minister is now 82 years old. Um, is there a provision in uh, Lesotho law that someone like him could go to jail? Or what, what, what's the likely outcome from what you're seeing? It would probably have transpired in some of the debates. As mm. far as we know, there has not been any provision that we know of. But, uh, you know, the law can be sometimes a little bit too complex. Uh, because remember, he spent a lot of time challenging whether him as an incumbent can actually be tried while still in office. But of course, it became uh, academic because he's no longer the prime minister. Uh, and others were saying he's probably pushing that by the time the case sees the light of day, he would probably be so old that he will or even have passed on. But looking at him today, very fit and very vibrant, uh, and there is really no reason to suspect that he could have a condition uh, and that, that, that could say he's not mm. fit either to stand trial or to actually be detained or sentenced. They looked as if there was uh, an, a number of people that had come out to, to support wearing uh, some party regalia. Does he still enjoy quite a bit of support in the country? I... I think he has more split the party than bringing it together. Mm. There are just too many centers of power when it comes to that particular party. Him and the incumbent prime minister has gone in loggerheads and uh, quite pri public uh, utterings that has led to some disconnection. He himself has actually said he's surrounded by what he alleged mm, backstabbers in his own party. And today, when we actually thought we will hear anything comment relating to his particular trial, he just went on and on about how the party will now start going campaigning, preparing for elections, how this party is his, and absolutely ignoring what transpired today. Yeah, so we, we could excuse that maybe for old age, but we would think uh, the guys who were really umbrelling him, who were around him, would now say, okay, maybe you want to say a few words about the party. I literally had to grab the Secretary General, who made rather 
mild comments about how he is somebody who wants to abide by the law, does not have intentions of, uh, of, fly, of, 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 of getting out of the country, of fleeing, uh, how he wishes to stand for the trial. Uh, but it was like he was just someone to the principal's office and nothing oh. serious about that case. All right, Sir Abelangs, I suppose we have to wait until next year for the next instalment of this uh, rather intriguing case. Thanks very much, Sir Abelang. Very complex, but we look forward to it. Thank you. All right.